Netlink Daily, we help you get ahead of the news. Because it was just my head. Here's a, here's a breakdown of that uh, head. It was my... Looks like NVIDIA accidentally took the lid off of the GTX 1080 Ti, along with the GeForce Elite program, whatever that is. A job posting for a senior marketing manager was posted on LinkedIn and caught by PC World. It notes that 980 Ti owners could get a step up offer, giving them the first spot in line for 1080 Ti pre-orders. So now we know it's real. Other rumors point to the card being shown off at CES in January, but we won't know for sure until that day comes. The posting also detailed a Club GeForce Elite subscription, which would cost 10 bucks a month, granting its members four free games per quarter, free access to GeForce PC in the cloud, which sounds like a desktop version of GeForce Now, and exclusive in-game items as well as physical GeForce gear. Well, looks like Nvidia wants to be much more than a GPU manufacturer. Because we all have dreams. Keep dreaming big, Jensen. After licensing its brand to Chinese phone company TCL, BlackBerry is switching gears at home. The company apparently wants to be a big player in autonomous driving tech, and as such has opened the BlackBerry QNX Autonomous Vehicle Innovation Center in Ottawa. That's Canada's capital, if you're wondering. A. The AVIC will not be creating new code for autonomous vehicles, but hopes to develop a platform to foster the development of such innovations. Nice. Classic BlackBerry. They know they can't wow you with the fanciest new thing, but they'll give you a solid, dependable framework to work with until Apple and Samsung make a better one. Go Canada! Speaking of self-driving cars, Google may have scrapped its own marshmallow-looking vehicle, but that doesn't mean it's not working on getting its tech into every nook and cranny of our lives that it hasn't penetrated already. <laughs> uh. Waymo, Alphabet's autonomous car division, has announced a partnership with Chrysler to sell modified Chrysler Pacifica hybrid minivans woo, equipped with self-driving tech. The vans have been tested on roads for the past six months and will be available to the public sometime in 2017. I'm sad to see the marshmallow go, but it at least the Pacifica seems to have inherited its sibling's cute little nose. Even if the self-driving thing doesn't work, at least you can boop your car. It's time for... Quake Beats. Galax has shown off a single PCIe slot GeForce GTX 1070 GPU, which has a little extension on the end of the card to house its blower-style cooler. So if you like your graphics cards to look like pancakes, there's something for you. Speaking of GeForce, NVIDIA has teamed up with Corsair and MSI to offer the PC Gaming Revival Kit. It bundles an MSI GTX 1060 with a Corsair Force LE 240GB SSD and CX450M power supply, plus a t-shirt. This thing only popped up in Spanish-speaking countries, so the rest of us don't get to revive anything, apparently. LG is reportedly developing foldable LED displays for Microsoft, Google, and Apple to use in their devices, but we've been hearing about bendable smartphones for about as long as there have been smartphones, so... I'll get excited about that when I see them, which is hopefully really soon. Lynda.com, recently acquired by LinkedIn, which was also recently acquired by Microsoft, was apparently hacked with 55,000 accounts affected, but they're requiring everyone to change passwords just in case. And Star Citizen is finally getting its Star Marine FPS module published to the game's public test universe, so you can get some practice in before the game launches in 2036. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Um. My brother, yes, that is not me. It's my Italian brother. How'd he get where he is with those people? Not something I would do. Nope. So if you guys haven't noticed, the past five days we put out a Julia's Holiday Gift Guide giveaway video starring Julia. Now each video is sort of a tech tips episode in itself, exploring a common question concerning each product in the video, but we're also giving away all of the products in those videos. So there's a gaming PC build-it-yourself kit, Corsair gaming peripherals, a Xiaomi Mi Band 2, SanDisk Extreme Pro 128GB 4K ready SD card, and a BenQ gaming projector. So to enter to win those, you've got to watch all five of those videos. And go to the contest page where you can do more stuff to gain even more entries. Very exciting stuff. So click the link in the corner or the one in the description for all the details. It's very thorough, more than I could get into here.
All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for the previous Netlink. Check us out on Twitter over here. Our handles are right there. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We're going to announce the winners of our Black Friday X1 million giveaway soon as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm burping as I say this. But you know, we're all human. Stuff happens. So yeah.